there's a wonderful paradigm that's available for healthcare professionals to use when they need to speak with parents, with other providers, and with each other that really helps to get our immunization message across to people who might have some kinds of hesitation. It's called CASE, C-A-S-E. E. It was actually developed by Allison Singer, who's the, the president of the Autism Science Foundation, because she felt that the way a lot of providers speak to parents about vaccines was almost a turnoff for them. So that's how she came up with CASE. So I'm going to explain to you what the letters mean, and then I'm just going to give you an example of what a, a conversation with a parent with CASE would sound like and look like. C is for corroboration. And what you want to do for that is explain to the parent what you, that you really know about what's bothering them, that you're hearing the same messages that they're hearing, and those messages concern you as well. Because what that does is get you onto the same level as the parent. Oh, she understands my problem. She knows what I'm seeing and hearing and why I'm afraid. And then the A is for advice. You want to tell the parent or to whomever you're speaking that you have done a lot of work to make yourself a vaccine expert. You've taken courses, you regularly look at um, uh, immunization uh, li literature either in journals or online that come from excellent scientifically supported evidence-based sources and you might even there want to tell uh, someone if you have a family member or you yourself has been affected by vaccine preventable disease and then the S is for science now if you think about how we've done this you've already established a rapport you've gotten on the on, uh, onto a, the same playing field as that person that you're speaking to then when you tell them about the science, your credibility certainly increases because it's not all about the science. Hey, that person understands what I feel. That person has had a personal experience. And then the E stands for advise and explain. You want to end with a firm message that you want to vaccinate today because that's in the best interest of the child and you know the parent wants to do the right thing for their child. So the mom might say to me, oh, I'm really not sure about that MMR vaccine. I've heard things about autism being connected with that. So what I would say to that mom is, I've heard those same stories that you do, and I'm really concerned about them because I want to be able to give you the very best possible advice about vaccines. So what I've done is I've done a lot of reading. I check really good websites that are scientifically supported, that use the best available evidence. I've taken courses, and I make sure that I read every single day to keep up with everything that's going on with vaccines so that I can give you the best avail available evidence about what's going on with those vaccines to help you make those decisions. Besides, I'm really afraid of measles. My sister almost died from measles when I was a little girl, and it was terribly frightening. And now we have these really great studies that have been done, study after study after study, that clearly indicates that MMR vaccine has no connection to, to, me, to autism in children. In fact, we have studies that show, some, in, some, in some cases, children who were never ever vaccinated with MMR vaccine had a higher rate of developing autism than children were actually vaccinated with, with the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine. My grandbabies got that vaccine. They both got their MMR right on time when they were 12 months old. And I really want to give that vaccine to your child today. So let's get that vaccine given today.